Power Rangers. Go! Hello. I unmuted you or on the captions at go, go, Power Rangers. Go. Okay. Well, I mean I was unmuted at when I said Power Rangers, so Great, good. I couldn't tell. So Yeah, I was I just I, went ahead and I, started the caption. Yeah, no, I I was unmuted at the Power Rangers portion of it, so like uh yeah. 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 We have Vampire today. Vampire Vampire Potat! Vamp Vampire Potat! Vampire Potato. Potat. To. Just like Zag. Just like baby Zag. Ha Happy Halloween! Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween! Happy Halloween! Hello, child. We have spooky icons! Look at them, they're great! Well, oh. mine is. Chucky's is less spooky. But well, yeah. whoa, whoa, know, whoa! You're a paladin. Paladins <laughs> aren't spooky, okay. well, unless you're like. I mean, I guess depending on who you're worshiping, but oh. your little shark icon has like a Bible. There's a fucking cross on it, so. No, but it, I'm woeing the. Oh my uh, god! Battery. Yes, I know. But I'm woeing the like. We, they're so great. Well, one of them is. I, one of the spooky, one oh, of them is spooky. They're both great. It's not supposed to be spooky. Did I'm... you flip my icon? No. It's backwards. No, I didn't. It, uh, that's it. That's just the the way, the 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 it was uh uh oriented. The the bat was oriented that way before, or the way that the, yeah. Well, can you flip it? Uh, or flip yours? Probably flip mine. So it looks like the paladin is coming to battle the Lich King. Uh, how do I flip? How do I flip? Uh, I right clicking and seeing if there's a. There it is. Better? Yes. They're, they're both perfect. Thank you, they're child. Both perfect. It's just only one of them spooky. Okay, you don't need to be rude. What? Do you want to be spooky? No, because I'm not a spooky person. And what's rude about it? I'm stating facts. They're both great. <laughs> oh, they're both amazing. And I'm still amazed how fast she got that. Up. Yeah. Yeah. Kudos to your friend who did that. Yes, she is amazing. Okay. Kudos and extra large. <laughs> that she freaked out over. Hopefully you're but having anyway. a good Halloween magic. Happy Halloween. Do you have fun Halloween plans? Who, me? Magic. Oh, okay. So I know you just did Halloween stuff yesterday. You should talk about the Halloween stuff you did yesterday. Uh, well, today we also did some stuff. Um, and today then. So, it's been pretty chill. So yesterday, I hung out with my uh, tabletop group, where uh, we did... Well, it started out with the DM basically being like... Okay, so I already I have this thing planned. However, because it's Halloween, uh, we I could railroad you into like a Halloween thing, and, I, and we're all like, ah, patch in the Halloween expansion DLC. Sure, why not? Where it started out with we were chasing chupacabras, and then we went and found a carnival that was literally harvesting evil souls to feed some demon question mark oh you were harvesting evil souls uh, i didn't harvest anything these creatures there were i mean as long as it was only evil souls you were harvesting uh, so uh, we played some carnival games. I threw a guy off a tilt-a-whirl. 
Uh, and then we went into the haunted house where we were told not to get off the ride. I got stabbed. And then... Yeah. What? You got stabbed. My character literally got stabbed while still in the cart. Something just stabbed me. Uh, and then, uh, a thing happened and we all got off the ride. Like we weren't supposed to. And then we killed some evil toys and got out. And then when we woke up the next day, the carnival was gone. And hmm. and that and then today we watched uh two extremely cheesy Halloween movies. Like Ew. like yes, like not like scary Halloween movies. Like hey. where like the first one was a guy got married, literally got married that day, went home to like pack up his stuff. Then found he found out his two aunts were serial killers. Be, by find uh. by finding the body a body of one of them and being like, oh my gosh, uh, my brother killed the person. They're like, oh, don't worry, dear, that's one of ours. He's gonna go with the other eleven in the basement. And then he's the best of us. And then he's. One of his other brother shows up who also has killed multiple people and has brought a body into the home. And it is a just a mess of a movie where the main person's just having an anxiety panic attack uh the entire time. And then we watched a movie uh that was uh, you, I can explain it to you in the best way of it was written by R.L. Stein, <laughs> and that explains like probably ninety percent of it. Okay, <laughs> because if you imagine anything from R.L. Stein, you probably understand how the movie is. Because I don't, don't understand anything by R.L. Stein. Have you heard of Goosebumps? Uh-huh. Have you never read Goosebumps? I don't think so, actually. So the plot of the movie was... Uh, this town... It's like 20, 30 years ago... Uh, this kid, who basically looked like he was just going through his emo phase... Got bullied and... Uh, because, like, jocks are, like, yeah, okay. like, uh, and ended up dead. Okay. Um, but the thing was, um, he, he created this sculpture that was said that if you look upon it, it will start burning your eyes, and on his uh, it, it, like, he literally died in a blast furnace and wrote a message that said, uh, if you guys ever celebrate Halloween, I will return from the, uh, the dead and exact my revenge. So the town hasn't celebrated Halloween in, like, 20, 30 years. Present day, uh, one person keeps trying to celebrate Halloween... Uh, the kids keep are trying to celebrate Halloween. Um, the kid's grandfather just dies and then comes back as a zombie. But, like, a good zombie. A good zombie. A good, like, okay. able, able to articulate everything and perfect. He just loses a limb every once in a while. It's well, fine. You don't morally judge zombies. Um, and then... As a prank, some kids try to steal the statue, which is held up in a crypt in lock and chains. So the guy actually does come back from the dead and starts raising the dead. And the, okay. and the dead are hilarious. 
the dead are hilarious. Oh my gosh, no. They're like, oh, oh you, it's by Sharky. you gotta run. They're coming after us. And people are like, who are coming after you? And they all jump, the zombies all jump into frame and they're like, the zombies. <laughs> um, and then it turns out that like, what it really was, was the jock locked them in the blast furnace and like the janitor accidentally turned the blast furnace on and killed the guy. And this sta- this yeah. evil statue was just of the main child's grandfather, who the kid looked up to, and the per and the jock just was pissed off that this guy's statue was going to be chosen instead of his statue of his father for like some contest. It was the stupidest thing imaginable. Uh huh. But it was hilarious. I see. That was my Halloween. <laughs> Wow, your Halloween's done by six? Damn. Yeah. But we still have Halloween content. Well, read your line and then tell us about your Halloween. Huh? Dot, dot, dot. Read that real quick. Dot, dot, dot. Good. So, how is your Halloween? What, me? Yes. My Halloween starts in the evening. <laughs> yes, yes. Excuse me. <laughs> no, we're doing pretty chill stuff this year, but I have a costume. Uh, we're doing a little um tea party thing because it's also what another fictional character's birthday. Um, also my brother's birthday. I only messaged him because I was like, "Oh yeah, we're singing to the fictional character and having cake and stuff at midnight." I mean, all oh, right. I suppose I should say happy birthday to my brother. You could... And then he said I was the first one. And I was like, damn, that's sad. <laughs> you could still be ha- like haunted by a ghost tonight or something, Sharky. Yeah. No, because this building doesn't yeah. have ghosts because it's probably too new to have ghosts. You say that like it wasn't built on top of something. Fair. <laughs> but I... but. No, it, we haven't had weird ghost stuff happen before. Why would it happen tonight? Just because it's Halloween? No. Uh, yeah, make a ghost then. I don't know. <laughs> I'll make myself a ghost. Magic, I know you're advocating for violence, but um, make a ghost tonight is a little abrupt of a plan there. <laughs> well, I mean, there's only one person to make a ghost out of. Who said it had to be a person? Are you saying to kill the cat? No. Wow. You should not kill the cat or any person, honestly. <laughs> well, then how am I making a ghost? Well, I'm saying it's a bit abrupt to try to make a ghost tonight. <laughs> you have limited hours to, like, plan. <laughs> I'm not, like, summon one. But you know what? Follow your heart, Sharky. <laughs> All right, get one of those, uh, Wii boards. Uh, I read your lines. Or is this my lines? I don't remember. I thought you were the narrator. I don't I remember. Just... Yeah, you're a narrator. <laughs> my line is your line. We're read your line you. anyway. I can't. I don't have one. It's yours. <laughs> read your stream child a bedtime story. Okay, let me just grab my Edgar Allan Poe book. No! Oh, should I read uh, one I wrote? <laughs> this is definitely not bedtime. <laughs> Several hours <laughs> later, we have returned to the mansion. Several hours later, we finally read the line. Delacroix disappeared into the forest without being captured. The auction organizers placed an even greater bounty on him, and the greedy hunters hooted and shouted in excitement. It's only like 4.30 yet, though? I can't go to bed yet. 4.30? You're two hours behind? I thought you were only one hour behind. I also thought magic was only one hour behind. Anyway. Yeah, I'm going to do a tea party thing, and then I'm going to dress up, and we're going to go outside and take pictures in our costumes, I think. And we were considering going to a concert thing yesterday. Um, at this like smaller venue up the street that I like, but uh, the band that I wanted to see announced like three days ago or something. Like, yeah, um, 
all the rest of the shows on this tour have been canceled for health issues out of our control, which they had also uh, done. Uh, uh, I moved for school. Okay. I thought you were formerly also at school in the Midwest, but I guess your current school is not. Um, we're trying to remember I, things about this same child. Um. Yeah, but then, so I guess like a month prior, they had also canceled a bunch of shows because one of their performers got sick. And I am oh. like, oh, this COVID's just running rampant then. It's two times of having to shut down the show for health concerns, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, within one, one little tour. Yeah. It's like, oh, oh no, it's probably a good thing. New school for the PhD. Place I got my bachelor's of undergrad only. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. You mentioned that before, I think. Yes, yes, yes. I don't know what PhD school was. So that's probably, I think we just assumed. Continued thinking that it was still Midwest. Yes, yes. <laughs> Wait, that means magic's closer to me. Magic, magic is closer to you. Magic, go see your stream mother or stream hey. mother. Good luck. <laughs> Maybe don't do that. No. Um, that what? What was I going? It's to... just like, oh wow, not everyone is at least two hours away, <laughs> time zone wise. When I when I got there yeah. yesterday, people were uh like they were doing their their like their Halloween trick or treating like yesterday apparently. Yeah, I mean it's a Saturday. That kind of makes sense. Um, probably Why not. not. I will head east for Thanksgiving with friends. Ooh. Mm -hmm. That sounds fun. Yeah. I, um, uh, well, Magic, do you have a costume the Sharky never dresses up for Halloween? Am I the only one? Once we come back to the mansion, Van Helsing announced that he needed some fresh air and went outside. It's already midnight, but nobody seems to want to retire to their own room yet. Yeah, because you have to retire at 3 a.m. Sleepover. Oh, yeah, I have uh, halloween -y drinks. Mm. I made a cocktail for this character, too, but I've also made other Halloween-themed cocktails before. Mm. See, I'm just running off of, like, four, five hours of sleep. So no, I didn't finish my sheet costume in time. No, I'm so sorry. <laughs> You're not gonna okay. enough time. You can dress up as chic any time of the year. I be I believe in you. Dot dot dot, dot dot dot. I'm sure we're all thinking the same thing. What did Van Helsing do in the past? Murdered some vampires. Okay, but what did Van Helsing do? Murdered some vampires. Yeah. Like. War crimes. That's what he did. And boo, the stream follows joke. I mean, thank you. Thank you. I'm glad. Did he murder that boy's father in the vampire war? Like, because it was a vamp. War crimes. Because it was a vampire war, a genocide against vampires? War and genocide, to be clear, are not synonyms. I know. Okay, but you're saying them without that distinction. You said vampire war, a genocide. <laughs> to be clear, war isn't generally ref uh, supposed to be a genocide. Sometimes it is, but... If so, why did he do such a thing? There are so many questions, but I, I can't quite tell if it's my place to ask him outright. Let me see. You're being so stupid. The silence is finally broken by the Count. We must come to a decision. What? Confront him directly and urge him to change his mind. Or make sure that he doesn't harm us in the future. The latter option is probably a genteel way of suggesting that we kill him. Let's say Jermaine's suggesting we kill the child. Okay, I guess we're getting ready to punch a child. 
I assume as much, but can't bring myself to ask for clarification. That's easy for you to say, but he's just a kid, you know? I can't bring myself to fight him. And he's like, I don't want to punch a child. I'm just going to get punched by a child. It's fine, if he's sturdy. Me too. And he seemed to have his reasons for doing what he did. You're right. But Delaclaw came right out and said he would kill us. We need to think of something. Yeah. Either way, we can't just stand around and wait to be killed. Let's try finding his lair tomorrow. Lair? Do you mean the place the voice spoke of regarding his encounter with Van Helsing? I'm fine with heading over there, but where is it? Isn't Van Helsing the only one who would know? I'll be right back. And this is Van Helsing's personal problem. Do you think he would willingly let us accompany him? No. He's a giant, like, mur, mur, mur. this is my burden to bury. I am gonna get, er, to bear. I am gonna get really angsty and quiet and stoic. Mur, 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 I hate everyone. Hmm. But do you have other Halloween plans? Are you gonna watch Halloween movies or anything? Is this the extent of your Halloween activities? What else did I do? Oh, no, yesterday I didn't even end up doing Halloween stuff because my new phone arrived. And so I spent most of the day just setting up my new phone. <laughs> Logging in to all of the various apps because it can copy over all the apps, but it cannot log in. And so all of the apps needed to be logged into again. And now I have a cat. Hi. Hi, Keeper. That's entirely up to him. If he says no, then that's him. Or then that's that. Yeah, that's him. That's him. In any that's case. How, that's, that's Van Helsing for you. In any case, let's call it quits for today. Whatever we decide to do, we need the rest before we can do it. Lupin is the first to leave the room. Impy, St. Germain, and Victor eventually all head up to their own rooms. As for me, for some reason I don't want to go to bed just yet, so I remain in my chair. Wonder how long I've been sitting here. I sit in my qu in the quiet, deserted lounge with my eyes closed. I hear a noise and raise my head to see Victor standing at the open door. Hey, you're up pretty late. Aren't you going to bed? Who needs sleep? It's for the weak. Uh huh. Says Sharky, who sleeps so much. So many thoughts keep coming up in my mind, so I can't sleep. What about you? I'm... It's the same for me. I was thinking about Van Helsing and that kid. Delacroix? Yes. I looked into all the incidents he's caused up until now. Every object he's targeted was originally part of the royal vampire family's fortune. What? That means he wasn't stealing. He was taking back the stolen vampire fortune and the mementos of his people. Stand aside, fools! I am here to reclaim that which is rightfully mine! Potatoes! Hmm? Is that true? Van Helsing probably. I'm sure he knows what's going on. 
There's nobody who knows better about the extermination of the vampires better than him. I support him. Yeah, right? You support the potato? Patat! I also support people uh, reclaiming their stolen items from the British. Mm-hmm. Victor, do you know Van Helsing well? No, only what's on the surface. He was a hero in the Vampire War two years ago. It's said that his actions brought the Vampire War to an end quickly, and the army only suffered a few losses. He raided the lair of the vampires who were threatening humanity, and killed the Vampire King Delacroix along with his entire clan. The British, the French, the German, take everything back! That pretty much ended the war, aside from hunting down stragglers. Was that all necessary? Victor slowly shakes his head. We were all told that vampires were trying to wipe out humanity. I don't know for myself how much of that is actually true. I can say one thing for sure. War is nothing but formalized murder. It has no justice. I notice that Victor's hands are clenched tightly into fists. Victor? What's the matter? Uh, it's just that... I was a royal alchemist, understand? The war feels very personal to me. Victor's tone makes me feel like he's avoiding the truth. But... I don't think Van Helsing is so cold that he can so casually kill someone. And I think that those heroic actions he's been praised for are far from the truth. Yes, I think so too. Sorry for keeping you so long. I'm going up to bed now. You should do the same. <laughs> Victor, you know damn well you have stood in the way of justice before, letting your family's maid die so you didn't have to face consequences. <laughs> uh, funny. I'm not sure how much of that backstory <laughs> applies to this, Victor. <laughs> he's, got, he's got other... Things in the way of justice. Thanks. Victor smiles and gives me a little wave as he leaves. I still can't sleep though, and so I head outside the mansion. I only have one reason for doing so. I saw Van Helsing. I realize all of these, like, existing in the same timeline, in the same city, and everything. They've basically just taken the concepts of characters at a very high level and just been like, Plop yeah. into the story. <laughs> it's mostly just using the names. I saw Van Helsing through the window and couldn't help but come out after him. I wonder where he went. I know I saw him right here. Is he a vampire? I feel that I, if I can see him... The thoughts that stir up my emotions... Like Van Helsing's past and Delacroix, Delacroix the Second's hateful gaze will somehow be soothed. Oh. I find him. Dot dot dot. Doesn't seem to be doing anything, just standing there, deep in thought. I'm about to call out to him, but then I see what a somehow sorrowful mm -hmm. state he is in, and I hesitate. Hmm. Oh, it's you. What are you doing at this time of night? Van Helsing notices me before I can make up my mind to speak. I... Oh. Should we ask about his past? I was... Uh... I mean, I'm still like, we should get Impy's route over with first. So is um, that saying no? And, I mean, 
I think it makes more sense, especially if Van Helsing is the next route, to just leave asking for his route. Okay. No, it's nothing. Besides, I want to hurry and get to vampires. I see. Van Helsing responds softly without looking in my direction. Mm hmm I won't ask. I can't bring myself to ask. If I were to ask him if he killed Delacroix's father, he would most likely tell me the truth. But there's nothing I can do about it. Even if I know the tr or if I knew the truth, I probably won't be able to be sad or surprised about it. AC. <laughs> stupid name out of the spell. Uh huh. What is it? We had AC and Macy. Uh huh. Macy's gone though. I'm going to see Delacroix a second tomorrow. I can't avoid my connection with that boy. All right. Sorry. The young boy said Your he would- arrived? No, my food arrived a, like a few minutes ago. Yes, I take it that's what you first was like, I'll be right back. For. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm asking in the sense of, are you eating? No, not yet. Well, why not? Seven. <laughs> Young boy said he would kill Van Helsing. If he's decided to go there, that must mean he is willing to kill or die. Van Helsing's eyes reflect a silent, yet unwaveringly strong will. I'm going back to my room. If you have no business with me, you should go back to your own bed as well. I nod and make my way back to the mansion. When I enter my room, Cece comes up to me, wagging his tail. Oh. I'm sorry, Cece. That's right. We always sleep together. Who are you worried about me? Everything's fine. Let's go to bed. Everything is fine. Uh -huh. Cece hops up on the bed and curls up. I feel the weight of his small body by my feet and close my eyes. Van Helsing. I look well a second. My father. And me. <laughs> I think about all kinds of things, but the conclusion I ultimately arrive at is... Simply, everyone probably lives under the burden of all the different events in their pasts. Trauma. Yes. In conclusion, trauma. I, 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 I think that's just called trauma. I... What burden am I carrying? Trauma, AC. That's what you're carrying. It's with this thought that I gradually fall asleep. The next day... The train slowly leaves the station. We are headed for the place where De Delacroix II is waiting for us. According to Van Helsing... It is far to the north of London, all the way in Scotland. So... I like... If this wasn't a Japanese-made game, I'd start to wonder if uh, this is Britain making some kind of statement about the Scots. But this is... A, I mean, you could say that about the localizers? Well, I mean... Localizers are translating. Yeah. I, this is all still set in... True. A, like, it's all set in London. Ah. Uh -huh. So, it was definitely originally written as this is London, Scotland, etc., etc. It's at least one whole day's worth... Or, day's journey away. Dot, dot, dot. 
In the end, we all decided that we would travel there together. Van Helsing had no objections to our request to accompany him. Van Helsing and Delacroix a second. Do they mean to continue fighting until one of them falls? Ugh, excuse me. One, one having lost his family, and the other having taken it away. Even if this is the path they've chosen for themselves. All I can think about is whether there is a way to avoid Van Helsing's death. Not, not the child's death? Not the child's death, only Van Helsing. Screw the child, apparently. I mean, the child could threaten their lives, so I suppose. And the death of Devaquel II. Okay, there we go. <laughs> oh, we, we have to save Van Helsing, not the child? Oh yeah, probably the child too. Yeah, I suppose the child as well. <laughs> the weather doesn't look very good. It appears we might be in for some rain. What do you mean? Rain is great. I look outside the window. Ominous gray clouds cover the sky. Feels like a foreshadowing of the events to come. And I avert my eyes from them. From that point until we arrive. No one says much. We spend our time either looking out the window or reading. No. No clouds clou good. No. Or is, is it no clouds good? Yeah, is it no clouds good or no clouds good? Actually, Cloud is emo. But he's still good. <laughs> he's also just a little... Zack. Uh, yes? This is how we ended up with Sora. <laughs> So there's a meme going around Twitter of, like, people making, like, uh, taking, like, a Kingdom Hearts 1 picture, editing out Donald and Goofy, and just editing in, like, other characters. So, like, Yoshi, Mario, and, like, just, like, uh, Daffy and, like, uh, Daffy Duck and, like, um... Bugs Bunny? No, Bugs was the equivalent of Mickey... Um, uh, Porky Pig. Mm. Uh, but the one I, the one I saw today, which I feel was a cursed image, was, uh, Bob and Larry from VeggieTales. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, this has gone too far. The boy's father died during the Vampire War. He says Van Helsing killed him. Van Helsing says he's killed him. Is something wrong? Without realizing it, I'd been staring at Van Helsing. Oh, yes. It seems like you haven't slept much, so I was wondering if you're alright. I see. I'm fine. You should follow the example of the others and get some rest. With those few words, the conversation comes to the end. To an end. To the end. I don't know how words work. I We're want... done. The end. <laughs> That's it. Code Realize over. Bye! Wonder what he's thinking right now. We're all deep within a forest. We arrive at the right station at dawn, but there is still a long journey ahead. It's already sunset. Sun is going to set soon. Are we almost at the place you're heading for? Yes. No. I don't know. What? What? What's things? Just a little further. We walk through the woods in silence. Van Helsing? Silence! But I don't back down and keep talking. 
What are you going to do to that boy? If the only options are to kill or be killed, what did he come here to do? To play Undertale, obviously. Uh, I guess that's coming back on Friday. I, I, that's what I assumed. Yeah, I assumed that too. I mean, obviously, Flowey's here if the options are kill or be killed. Uh. Who can say? He doesn't give a clear answer and starts walking even faster. We walk for two more hours. The scenery suddenly opens up around us, and the trees are replaced by a tall building. Wow! This is pretty amazing! Wow. I just feel like it should have the music from, um... What's it? Was it Night on, Night on Long Mountain? Whatever it was? When we... The, the Arcade Spirits. Yes, that's Night on Bald Mountain. Yeah. That that background and this background have very similar vibes. <laughs> wow, it's a huge mansion. Should be lightning in oh. the backgrounds. Well, unlike uh, unlike Arcade Spirits, I guess because this is a bit older. Uh, How old yeah. is this? They uh, don't have animated backgrounds. <laughs> Mm -hmm. How old is this? Who would realize came out originally in 2014? In Japan, yeah. For the Vita! Oh boy. Mm hmm. Well, you know, the Switch is kind of taken over now as like the yeah. big. Yeah. Platform for all of these dating I... sims. But before that, it was the Vita. Yeah. Not like the Vita really had anything else going for it, sadly. Yeah, but it had dating sims. But it had the dating sims. Well, the history of the Empire race is long, and they have lived in a number of regions. This is most likely one of their bases. I don't know how to put it. It's huge and amazing. But it has a melancholy feeling about it. Maybe all the uh, vines and stuff on the walls, making it look not maintained. Now that he mentions it, the castle does have a certain sadness. Delacroix Castle, the place where Delacroix, leader of the vampires, and Van Helsing battled. The exact location is unknown, but it is likely in the northern region of the United Kingdom. Didn't they just say Scotland? Well, Scotland's part of the UK. Okay, but they said... Likely in the northern region. Yeah. Like, but we literally just walked there. Uh-huh. So obviously, Van Helsing knows where it is. And he directly- Yes, Van Helsing's not writing the glossary entries. Who is? I don't know. Someone from current day, it seems like. Because it references, like, their world versus ours. Is that boy waiting for us all by himself? In that mansion that used to stand with such dignity in the past? Let's go. Van Helsing sets off and we follow. Our footsteps echo in the hall. While the interior is in disrepair, it's not as bad as the de decrepit exterior. It's hard to believe how run down this place is. Impy says this in a soft voice for Impy, sounding sadder than I expected. I turn round. Impy, have you been here before? Nope, uh, I've never been here. But there's just something about it. Impy, you were questioning why Delacroix's second was so strong. Huh? Oh, yeah, I guess. 
I mean, he's a vampire, but he's just a kid. Anyone would think it's, it's strange. I'll clear it up for you. Deliquala's second is a pure blood. Pure blood? Vampire race were very reclusive, but humans, after all, are the ones who determine the state of the world. Because vampires are so similar in nature to them, they could not remain completely detached from human society. As time passed, a group of vampires deepened their relationships with human, and their blood began to mix. I see. I suppose love knows no boundaries to human species. Hmm. Call it whatever you like. As their relations with humans grew stronger, those who were against it became a minority within the overall population. There are those who simply detested humans or cited vampiric pride. The reasons varied, but all of them possessed the incredible physical abilities that vampires originally had. I see. So the reason the kid is so strong is because he has no human blood in him? Which means that might, which means that might was probably the norm in the past. Vampires used to be a source of fear for humans. I can see why. But ultimately, most of those who chose not to mingle with humans naturally disappeared. Source of fear, huh? Van Helsing continues speaking as he walks. He's close. I can sense it with my vampire sense. He'll be at the place where I murdered the Vampire King, Delacroix. We suddenly enter an open space, a large room the size of a great hall. I see wide, luxurious staircases and elaborate chandeliers. Although everything looks worn out now, their presence speaks of the past splendor of this mansion. And then, a potato shows up. Potato! I've been waiting for you, Van Helsing. <laughs> the, the black bar is showing up. And this is like a flare of like drama. Yeah. <laughs> so bored. Yeah. <laughs> Standing at the center of the stairs is the pure blooded vampire. As if he had been waiting this whole time. I shall have your head in this place, where my father spent his last moments. We all tense up at these hateful words. However, without hesitation, Van Helsing steps forward without even drawing his guns. Van Helsing? Stand back and watch. Whoa, whoa! Are, are you sure you don't need our help? This is my problem to deal with. You can all stay back here. You were allowed to come with, but you're not allowed to do anything. Yeah. Get back. Ho, oh, you came with a retinue, but don't seek their help. I don't care if you all attack me at once. It's just a matter of having more dead bodies to clean up afterwards. I know plenty about that after you killed my dad. I'm the one who had to clean up his body, you murderer! You sure enjoyed talking, Delacroix. Do you fear me? Why don't you go ahead and kill me if you hate me that much? That is, if you can. Okay, he has to be half vampire at the very least. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. In the tense atmosphere, the air around the boy seems to swirl. Very well. He brushes his cape back and raises his fists. I don't think I'm the same as before. I have been training endlessly for the sole purpose of ending your life. It's been two years, child. Yeah. He killed vampires who've been existing for who knows how long. Father's regret. 
My mother's misery and my people's anger will all be avenged here and now. Dot dot dot. Here I come, Van Helsing. Maybe something else like a I werewolf. Child in the revenge. Yeah, right. Maybe something else like a werewolf or something. His speed enables him to close the ten steps between them in an instant. As we expected, Delacroix the Second's physical abilities are extraordinary. <laughs> dot dot dot. Can you take me for a fool? You don't even have your guns out. Well, that's because the sun's not out. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. So stupid. <laughs> but you laughed. I did. <laughs> like, I yeah. never said I don't enjoy stupid jokes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I'm glad one person laughed at least. You got one laugh and one boo. <laughs> oh, 50-50. Oh, that's a pretty good rating. Van Helsing takes his... Gosh dang it. Stop it. Hmm? I'm talking to myself, so don't worry. <laughs> Van Helsing take, uh, takes every one of the boy's punches without so much as a change in his expression. What's the matter? Are you going to fight back? Dot, dot, dot. You... How far must your mockery go? Van Helsing rushes aside an unending stream of punches and kicks, doing nothing but fighting defensively. But... How is Van Helsing able to block these attacks so easily? You don't ask that after the last time he did it so easily?! From what I saw at the auction, the child's fists hold a tremendous amount of power. Is it really possible to take this many blows, even though they may not all be direct hits? He isn't taking the force of his foe's attacks head on. The Count speaks out as if reading my mind. Love that everyone else is just watching and vibrating. <laughs> yep. Watching and vibing. <laughs> the hits aren't hitting him directly, and he's able to skillfully avert them in different directions to lessen the impact. But that method of fighting is probably something only Van Helsing can do. No normal person would be able to react to Delacroix's attacks in this way. His reputation as the human weapon is earned. Does that mean... Both of them are superhuman beings above the range of what's considered normal? Well, no, Delacroix's normal for a pure-blooded vampire. Well, pure-blood vampire is out of the norm at this point. So. Yes. You're saying normal for a very specific group of, like, three. Is he human, Saint Germain? Is he? <laughs> That's the question right now. Van Helsing? Yeah! I suddenly recall my past of being called a monster and being hated. For some reason, this scene before me of two people fighting for their lives looks sad to me. Now that I think about it, how many people in this group are human? No spoilers, though. Wait, what? <laughs> Are you sure he doesn't need help? <laughs> Wait, what did you Well, AC is clearly not. Okay, but that's one out of the whole group. Uh-huh. But you- I'm guessing with Delacroix here. Mm-hmm. Hmm. There's probably no need. What? We're not going to abandon him. Just- <sighs> It's not what Van Helsing wants, and I'm sure he has some sort of plan. If we think he's in dire danger, we'll go in and help. We won't take no for an answer. Until then, we should stay out. Just like Van Helsing says, this is probably something that he needs to tackle on his own. 
Something he has to do himself. Do not tackle the child. <laughs> Don't worry. Van Helsing is strong, and I believe he has a good heart. He'll figure out a way. Okay. I nod hesitantly at Victor's points. As we watch the fighting progress, it all changes suddenly. Van Helsing sinks his fist into the boy's abdomen. Van Helsing, Van Helsing has punched a child. Van Helsing's punched a child? Dot dot dot. Van Helsing wastes no opportunity when his opponent loses his balance. Delivers a blow to Delacroix's head with his elbow. The boy jumps back in defense and loses his hat. However, by that time, Van Helsing has his two shotguns out and already pointed at Delacroix. Move, and I'll shoot. I love how dramatic they are with the CGs, though, especially oh, yeah. considering I have no music. Yeah, they're so dramatic. The tables have completely turned from his defensive fighting earlier. The hunter and the hunted. A tense silence fills the space between them. So, I can easily avoid anything you try to shoot at me. Would you like to try it? If you do, it will cost you your life. You yourself should already understand. You are far weaker than your late father. You cannot defeat me. Then shoot! I only seek your surrender. I had no intention of harming you from the start. Is the meaning of this? Damn, Van Helsing, you didn't have to drag him like that. <laughs> you would show me mercy now that it's far too late? He literally spent the past probably hour at this point just defensively fighting, being like, you can't hit me, you can't hit me, you can't hit me. Hit him twice, and now it's just like, okay, just stop it, kid. We're done. I'm warning you, don't move. Why didn't you show us this mercy two years ago? I don't want to shoot you. I will point out, with those apparent two hits, Delacroix currently got blood streaming down his Yeah, blood. no, like, he's holding his chest... And he has blood streaming down his face. He has yeah, to be a vampire. The abdomen and the head. He has to be a vampire. You. If it wasn't for you. Mother and father would still be alive. Way to dodge the question the way you dodge the punches, Van Helsing. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually really good. The boy leaps. I mean, actually, really good. <laughs> like, no, that was actually a really good line. Isn't magic relish, like, regularly really funny? Yeah. The boy I mean, actually really good, as if it's unexpected. The boy leaps forward. I gulp at the dull boom of the gunshot. But not good enough for Louise. <sighs> Keep De trying magic. Between the two of us, someday. <laughs> somehow we'll get another one. I wheezed last night during Pathfinder. You didn't record it for us? Damn. No, I'm Try not recording my, my tabletop sessions. No, it's just the wheezing. No! Damn. I have to be a coughing first. That does not get a laugh. Good. Delacroix is rolling on the floor, as if he'd been thrown back. I warned you. Not a single drop of blood stains his clothes. 
But how will we make the Sharky soundboard without the wheezes? You have how many really? flipping streams of me wheezing at this point? Instead, there are white shards. I immediately realize what they are. Rock salt. Van Helsing had no intention of killing the boy from the very beginning. I'll kill you! Even after being shot, Delacroix stands up. Van Helsing fires another shotgun blast and the vampire falls to the ground. Jeez, Van Helsing! I will destroy you and everything you hold dear! Even then. He lost his sick hat! <laughs> he hasn't had his sick hat since, like, the abdomen hit. I know, that's presumably when it fell off, but, like. The hat! Even then, Delacroix tries to stand up once again. Alright, next year's uh, Halloween costume. Dress as baby Delacroix? <laughs> Who, you? Huh? You? That's what I'm saying now, but I probably won't actually do it, because I just want to be a, like, demon or something over here. <laughs> ah! Delacroix screams as the gunshots continue. Stay down. You will get my revenge. No matter what, I will never forgive you for betraying my parents' kindness! Ah! Ah! His body is blown away like an old rag and rolls across the floor. Uh, how far away is Van Helsing Fire from? At this point, they're not. They're not that far away from each other. There, but it's not that far, yeah. Yeah, like, it's not point blanking it, but it's not like. Far. Probably at this point, I would guess the distance between the posts of the stairwell thing. I would probably say probably a little bit closer than that, but yeah, probably at farthest. Oh, I mean, considering he keeps getting shot every time he gets up again. Yeah. And he pulls back further and further. At this point, he's probably at least as far as the stair posts. Well, cool. so it's still like a little morally questionable. Van Helsing. I mean, he's shooting the child from a shotgun with salt. I, showing up was a little morally questionable. His entire past two years is probably a little morally questionable. Yeah. Oh, know what I forgot to get for you? That's a enough, Van Helsing! He gets knocked down, but he gets up again. I don't know the rest of the lyrics. But know what I did But know what I didn't get uh get for you? A picture of the uh soup. Yeah, why not? I forgot. Sob. Of the pumpkin casserole made pumpkin soup by accident. How did you go from casserole to soup? That was the eternal question of the night. We aimed for casserole and got soup. What the fuck did y'all do? How did you fuck up so badly? <laughs> what went in the casserole? Um... I mean, I love soup. Quite a few ingredients, but the casserole was literally baked inside of a pumpkin. Okay. And the pumpkin's juices made it soup. What ingredients went into this? I, I don't know. I continue to ask. I don't know. That's enough, Van Helsing. Seems like Delacroix finally lost the strength to withstand more gunshots and has stopped moving. Uh. 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 Uh, yeah. Did I did I not cry? No, in pain no, 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 no. I, I was I was typing something. 
Like, I heard all the pains of crying, but like I was just I typing. You're not moving on. Why yeah, because because I was typing. Yeah. Stay focused. Focus. Wait, what? Where? I don't know. I'm checking Slack. <laughs> See? See? I never said that I was focused. Then why are you demanding that I stay focused? Because you're controlling the game right now. When what happens when you control the game? You're allowed to not be focused? Then you scold me. I'm allowed to scold you back. <laughs> no. Wow, what a hypocrite. His face. You hypocrite's my job. <laughs> His face is twisted in pain as I say laughing. It should be clear that you're no match for me, Delacroix the second. There's no way you can defeat me with your capabilities. So what I'm going to do is train you so you can kill me later in life. And stop stealing treasures. Humans can be more cruel than you can imagine. If you don't stay on your toes, you're going to be consumed someday. Like soup. Give up trying to take your revenge out on the entire human race. We'll never forgive you, Van Helsing. Not you. Not ever! Yes, I am the only one deserving your ire. Van Helsing stands and looks down at the boy for a long time. <clears throat> just stands there watching him stare at this child. <laughs> But you can't kill me just yet. There's still something that I must do. But once it is all over, I'd gladly give myself to you to be killed. I deserve as much. Van Helsing. The Laquala second. You can have your revenge, but first I need to get my revenge, and then once I've had my revenge, you can kill me. Yeah, once I have my revenge, you can have your revenge, and then everyone's happy. So, so much angst, man. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Angst City. Still the capital of Angst Country, I guess. The second. I don't know what Angst Country is, but, you know, it's my, fine. my death must put an end to your quest for revenge. Don't turn your hate on anyone else. Delacroix slowly rises to his knees, shaking. He apparently has no more strength to resist. Van Helsing lowers his guns. What is the meaning of this? Are you trying to atone for your crime? Will not let it happen. You can't hold out a helping hand and pretend that you're good. I don't think he's pretending he's good. I don't think the English are angsty enough to be classified as angst country. <laughs> I think the English are the ones doing the trauma to the other countries, so yeah. Dot dot dot. Though the English themselves are perhaps emotionally repressed enough to have some good angst in there. That's true. Just kill me. I could never face mother and father knowing that I had accepted your sympathy. I don't need to kill you. Kill me! Kill me! <laughs> Potato, you're not dying today. No mashed potatoes today. They do seem to dislike expressing emotions. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. The boy crumples to the ground. Uh, uh. It's more of a crying air. Yeah. Do you, do you know that? Yeah, he's, I mean, he's in a lot of pain. No, no, no. He, literally, there is voice acting for him. Oh. Like so, it's more so it's a more of a cry. Like, 
Me Me screaming till me in the hut when I scream the whole third week in a row. Okay, but that's not allowed magic. Well, I'm not good at being a child and in pain and (laughs) crying crying at the same time. That's a lot. (laughs) I'm not a professional, okay? Well, it's... Uh, well, it's time. It's time to learn. Uh, maybe when you learn how to read, no, that's impossible. <laughs> then who are you to tell me? For a while, his crying is the only thing to break the silence within the hall. Oh, jeez! You watch this guy beat up a child, and now you're just standing there watching him cry. Yep. You gotta learn. Oh, there you! There it is, outside. Thunder roars in the distance, dull, dully echoing through through the house. Anyway, I don't have sound, so in my defense, I don't know. Yeah, I I understand that. I keep wanting to figure it out, but I keep failing. It's fine. If I don't match what the voice acting is, that just means that sometimes you get two different interpretations. Like, the the only way that I can think about it is if I can find a way to get... No, what you need to do is play with no headphones or anything, and then just blast the sound back at me. No. <laughs> uh, the only way that I can think about it is if I can find a way to route Discord through Streamlabs without using desktop audio... And then I could possibly send it to you that way by turning off like desktop audio and then Would just like hear me? what? Would you be able to hear me at that point? I don't know. Like, but like that's really the only way, like, not like route it through desktop audio, but like add Discord as like it uh an import input source. Um for yeah. like that's the only way that I can think of like of the way the intro music is. Yeah, kind of. But the intro music, it doesn't even actually open the file on the other thing. It just, like, plays the file directly mm-hmm. through Streamlabs. I, I mean, you can try to see. I don't know the truth behind the war two years ago. or What war, what war is really like? I only have knowledge from books I've read. I don't understand war very well. But to me, Delacroix II and Van Helsing both look like victims carrying the weight of their sadness from these event from those events. That's not that. A huge mansion has gone to ruin. He's probably living here all alone for the past two years. Just like AC was living all alone in a mansion that was also decrepit, curled up. Just like I had been in Wales. Stop getting ahead of the game. Sorry. No. So the uh, one of when we were watching the second movie today, um, we got to a point in the movie. I don't even remember what the point was, but like, uh, they said something, and I, I'm like, oh, I, I said a line that like. Oh, they're, 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 like, they're gonna say this, or something like this, right? Like, just, mm-hmm. I shouted something out, blah, 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 and then I said the exact line that they were going to say, like, word for word, and now, and everyone looked at me and, like, they really have on stream before as well. Yeah, and they looked at me like, okay, you've, we know you watch 90 movies, now shush! No, his pain is far greater than mine. A hatred that he can't do anything about, and an anger that burns through him. His suffering must have been immense. Um... I speak hesitantly. Do you think we could possibly bring him back with us? Him? You mean Delacroix? Yeah, I want to adopt him. Yeah, we all wanted to adopt him. <laughs> what? AC? What do you say that that's impossible? 
The kid's been saying he wants to kill us. Never even crossed my mind as an option. Gotta say I'm against it. I can't agree to it either. His presence puts us puts us all at too much of a risk to be acceptable. As I expected, everyone disagrees because Impy and Victor apparently disagree, so that's everyone. I mean, Saint Germain didn't seem thrilled and it's his house. Lupin didn't say anything. That's that's three out of the five. Did you read that? Wait, what? No, I didn't. My, my, my brain you just... You moved on, but I don't think you read it out. My brain just kind of just was like... Burr. But I mean... I mean... That's what adopting a cat is like. Sometimes they start all... You fiend, you bastard, I hate you! But then they warm up to you because of the power of love. Yeah, Mog's sitting on my subwoofer right now. Sitting for scritches. Scritches? Sketches. Also, there's like a small patch of fur that like disappeared off his head yesterday at some point. Oh. And I have a feeling that he and Kate Sith got into a fight and that she like ripped it off because oh. there's like a little puncture on his head too. Mm. I was like, oh no, Ma, my poor baby, but you definitely are also the one who started it. I could tell that Delacroix leaning on the staircase to support himself was quietly looking at me to, or was kind of, yeah, silently look at me. Well, he deserves all the scratches. Sometimes. AC, why would you want to do that? You must have a reason. Now that Lupin's asked, I start to explain my reasons little by little. I think it must be very lonely for him to stay here all by himself. Basically, I want to adopt him because he's just a vampire me. I think that's very sad. At first, I didn't realize it because being alone seemed so natural to me. But now I look back, the years I was alone were a very painful and trying time in my life. Ah, yes, the trauma. Yeah. I try to explain myself, but the words just aren't coming out, and I get frustrated. I think there are a lot of things he won't see or understand. Not as long as he remains here. But that's why... That's why I want you to come with us. I think things will start to look different to you if, with a change of scenery. Does that sound... Crazy? Casey. Dot dot dot. Yes. That certainly does sound outlandish. Delacroix suddenly starts talking. Why are you so desperate to help me? You don't even know me, so why should you say things like this? As if you cared? This gaze is sharp, searching for answers. This gaze is blurry. This child's been crying. <laughs> and has literally been punched twice and probably broke a few ribs and is bleeding from his head. You missed the number of times he got shot. Yeah, and got sh shot. shot. Yeah, that would so do- You didn't mention all the gunshots. Oh, uh, yeah, so uh, even rock salt that would still do at least bruising in a bunch of places. It probably would break a few bones depending on how close. If he wasn't a vampire. If he wasn't a vampire. Look directly back at him, staring into his eyes. Well, at least we have Victor to help heal him because <laughs> Victor's a trustworthy medic. He's a vampire, he should heal quickly. My life has not been as difficult as yours, but I know a little bit about loneliness. That's why I want to try and do something about that. Wait, how long were we alone? Do we know? It was some number of years. I can't remember if it was like six or three, no more than six. Okay. 
I want to say it was around maybe six-ish years. Okay. Somewhere between three to six, I think. Even though it's a dangerous situation, I also know the pain of losing parents. Well, your dad just kind of yeeted himself out of the situation. <laughs> He's just like, I can peace. I'm out. He remained silent for a long time. Yeeted himself out of the situation. <laughs> Didn't he? So you presume to know how I feel, and now you're trying to save me? What kind of white savior bullshit is that? <laughs> Your opinions are worthless. I'm sorry. Delacroix takes a breath, then looks around the hall before turning to me again. This place is the mausoleum of my people, my family. Who needs a keeper? Wow. Can you say with that with a little bit more edge, child? Who needs a keeper? I cannot leave this place behind. Isn't your revenge your only desire? Van Helsing suddenly speaks up. He's like, all right. I gotta help adopt the child now. <laughs> Cool, so everyone just moves in with you. But then it's not a tomb. Then for the sake of those who rest here, you must keep an eye on me. So that when all is said and done, I won't just change my mind and take off. Kill me someday. Then you can return here with that act as your memorial to them. Helsing's like, how can I use the angstiest language to get to you so that we may adopt? Well, Van Helsing is just like 75% angst, so he can speak angst with the child. Yes. <laughs> He's like, all right, AC wants to adopt the child. Hmm. How do I translate this to angst to convince <laughs> Um, I speak angst. Let's go. I speak angst very fluently. <laughs> All right, what's your fluency in angst, Sharky? <laughs> At that dot. <laughs> I'm dying. I don't know that I'm getting Sharky wheezes, but it sounds like Sharky's choking. <laughs> I don't know how to answer your question. I trust you, Van Helsing. Yes. I don't believe that something as small as this will atone for my crime. But... Right now, that's as much as I can offer you. Van Helsing falls silent. Delacroix doesn't say anything either and simply stares at him. There is a long silence. Finally, in a soft voice. Fine. I will come with you. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. No, it no, it actually should be. Da -da -da -da. You've adopted a child. Da -da -da -da. You found a child in this mansion. Elsewhere. Finnis stares up at the ceiling of St. Paul's Cathedral. St. Paul's Cathedral. This cathedral was demolished in the Great Fire of 1666 and rebuilt by the famed architect Christopher Wren. It is occupied by the Twilight Organization. Wow, just giving away their headquarters. Yeah, that's like a oh boy. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Glossary. You're just telling us that? <laughs> The moonlight is tinted by the stained glass windows, spraying colored light across the floor. <laughs> he can't help but smile. The magnificence and beauty that his father, Isaac Beckford, so loved brings him peace of mind. When he is here, in this place, 
He feels like he is communing with his father. He hears footsteps from behind and turns around to find Alistair. Funus, it seems there's a report concerning the location of what you've been searching for. I see. It took them quite a while this time. After the train incident and all, I'm starting to think Twilight is understaffed. <laughs> you can be sarcastic if you wish, but that won't get you any results. That's what you think! Sarcasm? Come now, Alistair. I trust you. You make an amazing lackey. That's what I'm talking about. Right there. So, where are they? Reports say somewhere in London, which means that they are pretty that they pretty much don't have a clue where they are. You call that a report? I take back what I said about you being an amazing subordinate. Say what you like. Granted, they have a master escape artist on their side, but it seems something more is opposing us. Alistair strokes his beard and takes a deep breath before continuing. We're doing our best to find them. Don't be so hard on us. I don't need excuses. I need you to pull out all the stops in your search. We're at the final preparations for our plan. Which plan? What plan? Is it to kill God or something? Our plan. As you wish. I must excuse myself. I have an early lecture at the university tomorrow. Oh, is Alistair a student? Maybe he's a professor. Ooh. Oh, Alistair? There's one more thing I need to ask you. Alistair, who has already turned to walk away, stops and looks back. What is it? Back on the train. You intentionally let Van Helsing live, didn't you? You could have killed him if you wanted. <laughs> Sorry, I stepped away for a moment. Who the? Hmm? Beep! Are these people? Sorry, I stepped away for a moment. Who the fuck are these people? Uh, Finis claims to be MC's younger brother, and Alistair used to also. Well, Van Helsing used to be part of Twilight, and it seems he has some kind of history with Alistair. And I'm not going to say anything more, because I have 100% in this game. Well, and don't, do we know for a fact, or is it just we are assuming that Finnis is the head of Twilight? Well, they said that for a fact. Okay. Uh, they who, said for a fact Finis is who, the who, who are the ones searching for MC? Twilight? Yes. Twilight, who yeah. are the ones searching for MC? What do you mean? Oh. You're saying that as a follow-up, not as a question. Yes. Well, you start it with who. So, these are the, I, I'm guessing, quote, bad guys. And I'm saying that with a quote. I'm not as a bad. The agonists. We have MC, who is the protagonist, and these are the antagonists. I cannot give away anything about what their plans or any of that Yes, are. yes, don't. Why didn't you? Was it because he was your apprentice when you were a member of Twilight? I didn't think that a genius like you would let a potential source of future trouble off the hook in that situation. Oh, also, we adopted a child. <laughs> oh, yes, we adopted the baby. The potato. He adopted the potato. Potat! Potat! <laughs> well, well. I didn't think you thought so highly of me. The reason, though, is quite simple. I was taken aback by that ball of fireworks. When I looked back, he was already gone. That's all there is to it. Oh, really? Is my ex explanation unsatis unsatisfying? Fine. If you say so. 
I must say, it's a bit of a relief to find out that you're not completely heartless. Ah, oh, he's just a nobody instead. No, being heartless is Finnis's job. I thought that was MC's job. <laughs> well, they're siblings. <laughs> Everyone's in the family. I'm really digging Finnis's look. Oh, and the other detail about Finnis was that um, when he and MC first meet, for Boo, some reason, no MC suggests where the gem thing is gets hot Boo. for like a while. No KH jokes. Boo. But remember that. I rarely give out second chances. And I never give out thirds. Right. I'll make sure not to forget that. Alistair bows slightly and melts into the darkness and disappears. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm going to ask this and you're going to say either say yes or no. You don't need to give details. Are we going to learn more about Finnis only in the true ending? Or the the, the uh, loop and route? If I remember right, no. Okay. He's in a good mood. So much so that he doesn't even mind Alistair's blunder. Soon, he can see his sister. And become one with her? What did I just read? And become one with her. That was his father's very wish. He will carry out his father's will. Watch me, father. <laughs> his laughter echoes eerily throughout the acoustics of the cathedral. Oh, sorry, let me just get some uh, cathedral acoustic effects on here. <laughs> Check the six. Uh huh. Well, we did vampire content. We did the vampire content. Now that we just have a vampire child, we've adopted. Ba -ba -da -ba 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 adoption. Do you want to continue, or should we stop? For now, we're at 147. Mm -hmm. This is the end of the chapter. But we're only at 147, so. Let's go for another, like, half hour? Is that okay? We'll aim for another section then. Okay. I mean, I don't have anything till 530, so I have a solid 45 minutes. Okay. He Oops. runs he runs with all his strength through an empty wilderness, a wasteland with no living thing in sight. I and hope you're enjoying this as the fun Halloween content magic. I uh, There's not very much horror scary here, but you know. Spooky There's a vampire. Spooky scary skeleton. Talking about a tomb. And a tomb needs a keeper. <laughs> he runs through a Char Charnel? I don't know. Field of Death. Okay, I'm glad you're having fun. <sighs> the dense fog sticks to his body. He flings off the gas mask he's wearing and covers his pale face with his hands. Oh, why? How could such a thing... Oh? Oh? He has escaped from a mountain of corpses? What? So about Halloween horror. Wait, Victor is the one running? From that massive pile of unmoving bodies. What? What have I done? Uh, made a child? Unable to remain on his feet, he crashes to his knees. That's not what he does here. What cruelty! The scene is burned into his mind. A small child reaching out for help, then dying on the spot. It was nothing less than hell. The person, the person responsible for that hell is none other than himself. It's number two. It's... It's all my fault. 
<laughs> he feels that his mind will break, faced with a truth that he cannot accept. I'm going to assume you screamed. Yeah, cool. so I guess I'll take that. Yes. Yeah. He continues to scream until the rain that begins to fall drowns out every trace of his voice. Oh, trauma dreams. Nice. Trauma dreams. <laughs> he bolts upright in his... Wait, sorry, I said wheeze. Sharky, get in there. No. He bolts upright... He pulls upright in his bed, his hands clenching the sweat-soaked sheets. A dream. It is a wish your heart makes. His heart is hammering. His, his heart is hammering, seeming to echo loudly in the silence. He presses tightly against his chest and squeezes out a gasping statement. It's me. I... I can never be forgiven. Man, what is with everyone just being a ball of angst and like, I cannot be forgiven for the crimes I have done. I have to introduce you to each character's backstory angst to incentivize you into taking their routes. And now a blue fire oh, sky fills the outside window. Fills the window outside. Morning light lances between the clouds and caresses his face, and he turns away. It's such a nice day. They're characters from gothic literature. Of course they're angsty. I mean, yeah. Impy's not. Yet. From gothic literature? Well... Eh. Anyway, been... Imp don't worry, MP has got some angst. We just have to go through his route. It's been about a week since the vampire, Delacroix II, joined us at the mansion. And I really do feel that after going through his route, I liked him better. <laughs> Which is why I'm like, come on, let's do his route first. Even so, being on a killer be killed basis with him, we have yet to fully warm up to each other. Naturally, it isn't easy for our hearts and minds to close this gap between us. For now, the fact that he has stopped attacking innocent unrel unrelated people has been an adequate improvement for us. Okay, but I have a question. Is Lupin, gentleman thief, out there stealing the artifacts for him? <laughs> As he should be. As he should be. Because Lupin says all this stuff about how he doesn't steal for himself, uh -huh. but you have this poor little child who has been orphaned, who's had his whole, like, family legacy and all the artifacts taken from their home. That sounds like a gentleman thief worthy cause. You should go out and steal all the artifacts for him, Lupin. Lupin's also not from goth gothic literature. I neither is Saint Germain. Saint Germain's interesting because there's like question marks about whether he was even a real person. No, I thought it was confirmed he was a real person. We just don't know anything about him. Well, like he was a real person. Or it's just a title like, or what? Like it's a weird. I, it, in terms of like who. Who he? Okay. Yeah. I'm not doubting that there was a count of yes. a Saint Germain. Yes. But like, whether he had all the roles he's claimed to yes. have been, yes. essentially, yeah, is like a huge question mark. So, is Saint Germain even from literature? Is he or is he real? I don't know. Yeah. We don't know. Um, but you know, Frankenstein and Van Helsing are the ones we're talking about right now. So. CC, let's go get breakfast. AC is not from Gothic literature. AC is definitely not. CC responds with enthusiasm. AC is from 2014 Japan. Later, Saint Germain has been helping us with the living expenses for the past two days, or past few days. However, you know, as an MC, relatively compared to like the MC in Oz Mafia. Cora. Sheep? Bah. 
This, however, this is only temporary, and we are all determined to find a source of income. We all have our own ideas how to overcome this financial dilemma. Like spending less or finding practical work. Woo, Grand Family! Maybe I can start a side job at home to help everyone out. Ah, you could be a hitman. I have ideas about this, but because I have to wear gloves, I'm discouraged I'm discouraged that I won't be able to do any detailed work. Hitman! I was just thinking of every digital artist who wears a little tablet glove. Being yeah. Like, what? As long as they're thin gloves, it's fine. I touch my chest without thinking about it. The horologium. It acts as my heart and makes me a monster. Someday, will I someday be able to rid my body of the poison that flows through it? I didn't see. I'm a monster, and I just think of, uh, I think it's the Nicki Minaj the rap lines. It's like, ooh, I'm a motherfucking monster! <laughs> Love that fucked up glove. Makes me feel like a Pokemon trainer. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. I hope everyone liked my pumpkin. Because I was doing, like, Halloween art time for work. And then I was like, oh, let me go back and actually do this pumpkin properly and learn how to digitally color things. I don't know how to digitally color things. I don't technically, I'm not very good at analog coloring things either, but I can shade things with like pen and pencil or paper and pencil. But like digital drawings are a whole other thing. And I'm like, I don't know. take lessons from uh, the, the art friend. Is she offering lessons? Probably not, but take lessons anyway. You don't think I can take lessons from someone who's not offering up their time to do so? Because, I mean, she made such amazing glow when you're, like, in that whole lit. I know! I was like, oh, wait, I said light blue, but that was in the middle of stream, and what I meant was, like, a medium blue, but, like, glowy. <laughs> and she asked how much glowy, and I was like, I don't know how to quantify glowy, but just uh, make it creepy. And she did! It looks great! It looks so good! I really think I just have to adopt that as my, like, permanent icon all year! Monster! I can still vividly remember the words. Malice. Hatred. Hostility. And fear. I was attacked in the past by words that cut as sharp as knives. By emotions that penetrated as deeply as any bullets. Laughing because knives and bullets can't actually <laughs> do very much because they melt on contact. I bow down to you, Magic. Tried to wear a glove with my costume. And, and, and it made writing difficult. Hey, Malik. Hey, Malik. Happy, or happy Halloween. What was your costume? Ooh. Oh, ha happy day after Halloween? Yeah, day after Halloween. Well, it's you know it's Halloween. Since as long it's as like want. ten a.m. Ten a.m. for Melik, Ace Trainer. Ace Trainer. Nice. <laughs> Just me. Well, I guess what you have to do is get the like half glove of the drawing tablet. <laughs> CC Barks. Now return to the present. The funny thing is, I don't have one of those. My roommate does, mm. but um, like. So last year I got I really liked the Birds of Prey movie, right? Yeah. And Huntress has a great top and I really liked that shirt, so I was like, I don't want this as a Halloween costume, I just want the top. Um but like I found a Halloween costume that was just like the top and the gloves. It didn't come or and and the belt, I think. But it didn't come with pants, which is really funny. <laughs> wow. It didn't come with pants. You gotta supply your own pants. Um, but that glove um, is like half pleather and half the exact material of the drawing tablet glove. So I've been using that as my drawing glove. Oh my gosh. And the funny thing is, coincidentally, I'm using that shirt as uh, the shirt for my Halloween costume this year. My Halloween costume is sleep. 
Your house, your Halloween costume is uh, being the sin of sloth. Wow, rude. He's mm -hmm. looking up into my face as if concerned about me. I know it is rude of me to associate you with Catholicism, isn't it? Yes, it is. <laughs> no. Oh, sorry. No, I'm fine. Let's go, Cece. He barks hard heartily at this, uh, making me smile despite how I feel at the moment. See, it would probably be good to like start at food next this next time. Hmm. Might be good to start at food next time, like we seem to always do. Start at what? At food. At food? Yeah. Start what? They're at food t right now. I'm so confused what you're talking about. In game, they're at food. Uh huh. So maybe we should end here. Or okay. I mean, it hasn't been another half hour, but if you want to stop here, that's fine. I mean, we can continue talking. Yeah, that's fine. Because, I mean, you got stuck in the mood, Sharky. Look! I'm a tired person who was up at 3 a.m. And then woke up at 9 a.m. Until 4.30. I initially woke up at 9, and then I was like, why the fuck am I up at 9? And then Mog sat, like, directly on my chest, and I went, okay. And did you go back to sleep? Eventually. See, I didn't go back to sleep. It took a while. My body was just like, hello! And I was like, no, no hello! I went to sleep at like 4.30. Why am I awake? My body is just like, because you are! May I mean, same. I went back to sleep bed when I first took up today. See, I, I was staying at somebody else's place, so I didn't. Because they were also awake, and I was also sleeping in their living room. <laughs> so... I came back at 3, and then I accidentally, and then I accidentally took a two-hour nap. Yeah, so then you went back to bed. Ah, yeah, ah. <laughs> but doesn't that mean you actually got more sleep afterwards? More, more sleep afterwards? What? Hmm? What? So how much sleep have you gotten total? I went to bed at 3. I don't think I actually fell asleep until like 3.45-ish. 3.45, like 4 o'clock. So about 7 hours total. If I'm not counting any times that I actually like woke up because I have sleep problems. Wait, does your Fitbit track all this? I forgot to wear my Fitbit. Mm. Mine started dying. Like, I don't know what happened, but the battery suddenly got really bad. Yeah. So I've stopped wearing mine as I'm well. I'm gonna go make dinner. Thanks for a fun Halloween stream. Yeah, we're almost done. Yeah. Thanks for joining us, Magic. Enjoy yeah. your dinner. I, I think I've had a problem lately where my Fitbit is not um charging anymore with the cable. Yeah, mine charges, but the weird thing is it dies after a couple hours now. Mm. It's like really strange. It used to be at least a few days. Yes, but... like if I can get my Fitbit to charge, like it will last, it will get up to like, it will stop charging at 80%. Mm -hmm. And then it will last like a few days. And then like, it's dead. And then I'm like, okay, well, I have to try to charge it again. And then like, I'm stuck at trying to charge it. Yeah, I don't know. Like mine, it was fine mm. for like at least a full day at a time. Yeah, yeah. But then suddenly, I would take it off the charger at like six, and by eleven, it would need to charge again. Jeez. And I was just like, "Well, this is not useful as a watch, then." Yeah. So I've been meaning to get another one, but I did just get a new phone, so I'm not getting a new Fitbit yet. Yeah, that's kind of the thing of uh, that I probably need to do. I probably need to get a new one because it literally will not charge. Yeah. And, and I, I mean, granted, mine is old enough that like they no longer make that model. I think it was well, like... 
Fitbit Charge 2 or something, and I think they're up to like 5 or 6 at this point. Like, it's old, but, um, yeah, it no longer is working. Also, the screen was getting pretty scratched up, so I guess it's fine. Oh, really? Anyway, are you gonna save or are you gonna exit from the screen? <laughs> Yeah. That's a bit how the sensors wear down. It was difficult to charge. Mm. Yeah, and I think that's what's ha I think that's what's happening to me. I don't know why, because it seems to charge fine, but mine just dies really fast now. Like I think the battery part, not the charging part, is fucked up. Like I was able to charge it at one point, like from my last computer, pretty easily, but then like. It now is just straight up refusing not to charge. Mm -hmm. So, like, it's kind of useless as something to track when I literally can't even charge it. Yeah. Um, I'm like, it's not really useful if it's not going to last overnight as I'm sleeping to even track my sleep. Yeah. And as of the quarantine and, like, staying inside so much... I haven't really been going out to exercise or anything, and most of my exercise before used to be just, like, walking to and from things. I originally got a Fitbit, half because I just wanted to see how many steps I was taking around our college with all yeah. the extracurricular shit yeah. I did. Yeah. Which, the funny thing was, I would hit, like, 11,000, like, 7,500 to 11,000 on a pretty much daily basis, no matter what. So... <laughs> Yeah, see... But, like, now that I'm home all the time, I'm like, well, there's no point. I'm not doing a whole lot to track. See, I... And I've mentioned this before. I, I got it solely so that I could track how bad my sleep was. Mm -hmm. Because of the um the heart rate and sleep tracking function in it. Um, mm -hmm. Because... And those are good to have. I mean, uh, it's good to have the data on your disposal just so you know yeah and and it and it's weird like at one point uh i was talking with uh the pathfinder group and i'm like yeah i like i have weird sleep problems and he, i'm like i also like don't dream he's like oh I, I like i wonder how often you go into like deep sleep i'm like oh like almost never he's like what I'm like yeah i like never go into deep sleep but your fitbit says you never go into deep sleep like yeah all like um, I, I've had legitimate times where I slept for, like, six, seven hours, and my total deep sleep was, like, 20 minutes. Wow. I should go back and check mine. Because, I, I mean, I haven't had data for, like, weeks now because yeah. it's broken. But usually I get a... Let's see. My last one it did track was about 13 percent deep sleep so 42 minutes out of a little under five hours <laughs> what it really does is tell me that bitch you're sleep deprived and i go yep and then i don't do anything about it yeah um like there there might be some the like... interesting thing is that most of my deep sleep happens right after i fall asleep and it seems to not go back into it for the most part after that like there there'll be like sometimes i like have longer like i'm lucky that night or something but but yeah like one of them from the latest was like six and a half hours and i it was like 50 minutes of deep sleep four like four yeah, hour half hmm? wait so you're like six and a half hours and uh 50 minutes 50 minutes of deep sleep and four and a half of light sleep. Let's see. I have one here. Of and an hour hours. of awake. Minutes. I have an hour and 35 of deep sleep. And an hour of awake. Yeah, I mean, that's normal. Mm -hmm. On degree. Everyone has, like, random little waking periods in the middle. And also, there's something to be said for the Fitbit sensors. Well, just yeah working as sensors they don't know yeah like uh, oh here's it, one here's one it was five and a half I, it was we're kind of just talking about 
sleep patterns at this point because we're done. Here's but, one. Hi, happy Halloween. Here's one. Oh, it's it's from uh, September first, so like you know, it's a good night for me. Uh, five hours of sleep time, ten minutes of deep sleep. Let's see. Oh, hey, on September 1st, I also got about five hours of sleep. Uh, I had an hour and 14 that day. Yeah. So, I mean, I definitely, for the vast majority, have light sleep. Happy Halloween! The sucks all the time. Yeah. Yeah. I, what, do, wait, do we know what the target is for those, though? There's like, like the, what the, is the target distribution of there, there's a there's the benchmark. It's not even. Well, there's the benchmark for and, and it takes into account your age and stuff. Mm -hmm. So like, the benchmark for me is between twelve and twenty three percent deep sleep, forty and sixty light, fifteen to twenty five REM, and five to twenty percent awake. Wait, sorry, what was it? Uh, twelve to twenty three deep. 40 to 60 light, 15 to 25 REM, 5 to 20 awake. What was the light one again? Uh, for me, it's saying 40 to 60. Well, I think I'm right within your target range. <laughs> Percentage-wise. It's just, I mean, overall, I lack sleep. Yeah. Because I do dumb things. Yes, you do dumb things, and you need. And that I make bad decisions. I don't make up the time with naps. Uh, I'm I... perpetually sleep deprived. It's fine. Calculates the most recent chunk of my sleep, so I can sleep for four hours and wake up, and then sleep another. Only count the last four. That's annoying. My yeah. The so Fitbit. The Fitbit will do. will them together as long as it's a short enough interval. Yes. Yeah. So that... Even if you went up to like go pee and then got back to bed. It yeah. would count the whole thing. It would just count that as an extra awake time. Yeah. And which because... I don't know if your percentages, but the times will still add up all correctly. Yeah. Um, and I've done that where I woke up to like go pee or just because I woke up or something. And I usually go as I'm getting ready for bed. And then I spend so long fucking around on my phone that I get into bed and I'm like, oh, I should go one more time. <laughs> um but i've also had one a few times where like i woke up and then uh it literally counted them separately because i was awake for too long yeah i mean i thought that happened too um let me see anyway i think that's about time it's time nope wrong button suddenly voices that's why I don't, I don't put much sleep. If I feel good when I wake up, I slept enough. I'm honestly, using it to check my breathing because I snore like a train and I worry. That's fair. Yeah, I mean, I only use it to check to see how long I'm awake because I uh, could legitimately have sleep apnea. Mm -hmm. Um, That's the reason I only have it. The only reason I really only check it. Mm -hmm. But not really useful when you can't charge! <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Thank y'all for watching. Thanks for joining. Happy Halloween! We'll be back Wednesday. Uh huh. For Lovingly Evil? More villains. More villains. Cool! Always villains. Ooh, villains. Also, happy Halloween. Pi, look at our uh, uh, shark and bat before, right before I uh, do thing. Also, Melik, look at shark and bat right before I do thing. I admire them. Admire the shark. Admire the bats because the bat is better looking. The shark is just, it ends up smaller because it's um, yeah. trying to fit it within the circle. Yeah. We probably should have used the close-up. Probably, but like, oh, yeah. Well. <gasps> oh well. Oh, so cute! Oh, yes. Bye. Happy Halloween. Bye.